Hello and welcome to 30 Days of Hoya. Today we have Hoya Affinis Chiniana PNG6. You can see a better close-up of the plant in the second frame. So it's quite small, but it has very beautiful leaves, I would say. This Hoya is supposed to be similar to Hoya Chiniana. Whether it's the same or not, I don't know. If you can, uh, if you can, let me know in the comment below. From what I have seen, Hoya Chuniana has a wider and a bigger leaf. This one has a very narrow leaf. The veining is there, and it's very prominent. Uh, I bought it from a seller, and it was shown on the photo that it has yellow flowers. And from what I know, Chuniana is supposed to have light pink flowers. I'm not sure if they are the same plant or not. The color of the flower can sometimes vary on the conditions. Since this plant is similar to Chuniana, I believe it's possibly native to Papua New Guinea and Oceania, just like the Chuniana. I would say that some of the requirements of this plant are possibly similar to Hoya Chuniana. I think this one will grow well in that intermediate range from 15 to 35 degrees of Celsius or from 60 to 95 degrees of Fahrenheit. This plant will like bright and direct light. You can see that the leaves will get a bit reddish and especially the new growth is red. I have this sitting under the LED light. It's quite far away from the LED light, but it's growing well. It just pushed out this vine here. It did grow a bit before, so it had a vine here, but the vine died back. Now we're just trying with the new one, and that's okay. It will continue to grow, hopefully, this time. I received this plant as unrooted cutting in October. It was very easy to root in water, no issues with that. I used distilled water and it rooted very quickly. This one is also in that fancy plastic cup. We have a lot of roots here in the bottom. The mix is also very chunky, which I don't think is very suitable for smaller cuttings. So I will be moving it very quickly to also to a similarly sized pot, but maybe the mix will be a bit different. I would like the mix to retain just a bit more moisture. Currently, I have to water this quite often because it's in a tiny pot, there are a lot of roots and it just dries out very, very fast. For me, this is a steady grower, not a very fast grower, but it seems to be doing well. I'm not complaining too much about it. I'm not sure how easy will this one be to flower. So the, the one, or what I think the flower of this one will be is yellow flower, small yellow flower. But I mainly bought it because of the leaf, because of those veinings, the silver veining on the leaf, or the very light green veining, and the fact that the leaf turns a bit red under more light. I haven't seen this being sold online except as a cutting. I did see some larger plants, but I haven't seen them for sale. So I do think that you will have to get it from a collector. It's not very expensive at all. It's fairly cheap to get. So you, you shouldn't have any issues with that. For me, it hasn't been a challenging plant. The only issue that I had with this plant is the vine dying back. And I think that's my own fault because I put it in such a coarse mix, which is not very suitable for cuttings, I would say. But other than that, this has been a lovely Hoya to have. Thank you for watching. This was Hoya Affinis Chuniana PNG6, and I will see you in our next 30 Days of Hoya.